Hi, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. Thought I'd show you how an e gear system works. This here is a Lamborghini Gallardo e gear system on uh, one of our test stands. We have already rebuilt the e gear, already to put in the new hoses and uh, go through the rest of the system. But this is a good time to um, illustrate what all components there are in the system. So here is the e-gear actually flipped upside down. Normally it's uh, pointed down under the transmission where this uh, part will be moving around, moving the shift forks in the transmission as if you had or manually shifting into the six gears. We also have uh, two potentiometer style uh, Hall effect sensors, transducers that uh, detect the position of the uh, shifting mechanism. We have two, four, five pressure hoses going into the system that uh, get pressurized uh, from the uh, control unit over here. And we have uh, one return hose on the bottom. Um, so we have uh, five hoses going to this control unit. The control unit is powered by a gear pump. And uh, on top we have a reservoir to uh, supply the fluid, of course. Um, you don't want the gear pump to be running all the time, so actually there's an accumulator down here that is rated at a, a higher pressure than uh, what the pressure relief valve in this control unit um, uh, circulates. And uh, ultimately we simply have a pressurized system uh, that gets electrical inputs onto these various solenoids. The solenoids then allow flow to the uh, different uh, stages inside this um, e-gear system. There are uh, basically two rods moving around in the system with um, a lot of seals inside. What goes wrong on these systems actually is uh, potentially multifold. Uh, in the long run you will find the original seals in the system wearing out. The system is uh, made for speed so it has Teflon seals inside that uh, make it easy for the gears uh, for the gear shifter to slide around and um, in the long run the Teflon seals wear out. Teflon does not intrinsically have uh, elasticity or memory so ultimately Teflon goes flat. It also does rub off on the uh, uh, metal shafts in here as uh, as a normal normal wear, and of course Top Hydraulics um, replaces these seals with uh, newer technology, better mixtures of Teflon with uh, stabilizers. We also upgrade the uh, metal rods in here. Um, metal rods can one they will wear. Um, after some 20,000 miles these rods get fairly worn in some spots and if you are unlucky enough to have condensation in this system which obviously will happen in a hot climate where things warm up and cool down a lot if you have a lot of humidity involved uh, you ultimately accumulate um, air uh, that gets sucked into the system has moisture in it when everything cools down the uh, you get condensation and that water gets suspended in the fluid it ultimately attacks the metal parts in the system and uh, we are making that better at top hydraulics so um, what else failed the people call them potentiometer let's call them position sensors uh, can go bad and uh, obviously um, the pump can go bad, the gear pump. A gear pump is normally a very reliable thing, but gear pumps suffer from uh, two things. One is running dry or overheating, and the other one is having contamination in the system. If you have a lot of wear from the seals in the system that turns into sludge in total, uh, that sludge ultimately will um, make your gear pump suffer. and. Um, you want to avoid that in the long long run so just like you're doing a uh, regular maintenance on your engine every so and so many thousand miles uh, an eager system actually should get replaced as a precaution um, I personally think that 20,000 miles would be a good time to swap or upgrade your eager system once you get the upgraded one from top hydraulics it should last a lot longer than that what else can go wrong? An accumulator can fail um, f 
from too much use. What, uh, there's of, also often talk about these electric motors in the e-gears burning out in the uh, pump. Why does the motor burn out? Well, very simple. If you have internal leaks in the valve block, then uh, this uh, motor will have to work a whole lot harder to uh, keep the pressure up, to keep this accumulator pressurized and uh, the whole system working well. So it is important to have a well-sealed uh, e-gear system for optimum performance and to avoid uh, unwanted downtime.